What's up guys, Garrett Jenner here, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to inward heel flip. An inward heel flip is a backside pop shove it and a heel flip combined. So it's like the opposite rotation of a varial heel flip. You pretty much wanna have three tricks before you start trying inward heels, and those are ollie, obviously, heel flip, and backside pop shove it. Sometimes it helps to learn varial heel flips just because you get the feel of like a heel flip and rotation at the same time, but it's not necessary to have that trick. The foot placement for an inward heel flip is a little bit different than you'd expect. You'd think that you want to put your back foot in the toe side pocket because that's what you do for a pop shove it to get the rotation that way. But for an inward heel flip, you actually want your back foot to have your toes in the heel side pocket because when you pop it, it makes the board flip that way just a little bit, which you can then flick with your front foot to get the full rotation. The practice steps for an inward heel flip are pretty similar to any other trick. You're going to want to just like kind of fling your board out and try to make it do like the basic rotation of it. Um, once you can kind of get the feel for doing the trick, focus on popping and pretty much doing scissors with your leg. Like your back foot goes that way, your front foot goes that way, and just like scissor kick it. So to start out, literally just try doing the trick, like forming it, having the board land like on the wheels, but don't try landing it yet. And once you get the feel for making the board rotate and do the flip, focus on maybe trying to land it with one foot because that'll get your balance centered. And once you can land it with one foot, the next step is trying to fully commit to it. It'll probably take you a quick second to actually figure out how to make the board do that because you're not used to flicking inward, you're used to flicking out. But once you get the feel for doing it, maybe like 20 minutes of looking really stupid because you can't figure it out, eventually it's gonna click and you're gonna be able to do the flick and then it just comes down to committing. I'd say the main common problem for this trick is not actually getting your heel to flick the board and you end up just doing like a really weird looking pop shove it. The easy way to fix that is just focus on flick, not like flicking down, but flicking a little more parallel. Like don't flick up, flick like out. And that's just making sure that your heel actually catches the board to make it flip. Another common problem is the board won't rotate fully, so you'll get the full heel flip, but it might do like a 90 degree inward heel. And all you need to do for that is what you'd think you do is scoop your back foot more, but that's actually not what you do at all. Like I said, you have your foot in the opposite pocket, so the heel side pocket, and when you pop it, flick your front foot, sort of like, imagine your front foot is what's making the board rotate. So you sort of need to like hook your foot around to make it do the trick. So it's more just focus on doing a scissor kick and that should get the full rotation. A lot of people think it's easier to actually land the trick fakie first, which I think is because it's easier to get pop when you're moving like the way that you're popping. So if you're having trouble doing the regular, try them out fakie. It doesn't work for everyone, but it's worth a try. To do the trick fakie, it's the exact same steps as doing it regular, but it'll probably flip a lot easier because of the way that you're moving and it sort of catches your feet easier. So try it out fakie, see how that works, and if not, go back to regular. So to put the trick all together, you pop with your back foot in the heel side pocket. As soon as the board pops, you flick your heel out so it catches the board and do a scissor kick motion with your legs so the board will come around as an inward heel flip rotation, catch it with your front foot and bring it down bolts. Once you learn inward heels, you can experiment with throwing a body rotation in there, which would make it a big spin inward heel, which is a really good trick to have because almost no one has them in games of skate because most people do them the other way. No one does the big spin inward heel. So if you can master that trick, it's a really good trick to have. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope this video helped. If you could do me a huge favor and click my face to subscribe to my channel. I post daily skate videos as well as random other things. Also subscribe to the Braille channel because they're great people. Leave a comment, maybe what trick tip you want to see next. And that's about it. Definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's available on all these platforms, iBooks, BrailleSkateboarding.com, and Google Play. It's the most comprehensive video we've ever made and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. You won't be disappointed.